record ecosystem with the objective of reducing the cost and uncertainty of deploying multi-vendor, grid-based communications infrastructure for our partners and customers through open standards. Hi, I'm Tuba Göksel with Cisco Smart Grid Marketing Communications. Now let's hear from our partners. With me today is Sean Ron, Director of Electronic Systems with Coleman Technologies. Sean, Coleman Technologies is a valued ecosystem partner in the integrated solutions area. What does that exactly mean? Okay, well, it actually means that we do resell and uh, provide integration services for Cisco products overall, but Coleman Technologies, part of the Presidio family of companies, does a whole lot more than that, as a matter of fact. And how do you work with Cisco in helping utilities move to a smarter grid? One of the challenges facing utility organizations these days is the uh, harsh environmental requirements within utility substations in remote locations. So what Coleman does is focus on working with Cisco to take commercial off-the-self advanced technologies such as routers and communications equipment like that, and we're able to provide design and manufacturing services to customize those products to work in those harsh environments. I'm with Dan Pearl, Utility Solutions Lead with EMC. Dan, EMC is a valued Cisco ecosystem partner in the security area. So what value will EMC bring to the ecosystem? Well, if you look at some of the initiatives from advanced rendering infrastructures through distribution automation, it brings a lot of benefits with a lot of new intelligent devices that are added to a network. Um, could be the networks that are out there today, could be IP in the future. The benefits, though, need to be met also with the challenges that are presented in terms of network devices around security. And this includes things like encryption, key management, authentication, uh, event logging, data loss prevention. These are all things that EMC can help bring to the table today. What is the impact of NERC SIP guidelines in relation to smart grid? NERC SIP brings a level of urgency to the problem. So utility, most utilities in America must be what's called audibly compliant by July 1st, 2010. And this includes a lot of things I mentioned before, including encryption and key management, event logging. And these are things that need to be addressed today, and EMC can help do that. With me today is Andy Rohr, VP of Sales with Capgemini Smart Energy Services. Andy, recently Cisco has participated in your global announcement for smart energy services. So, can you tell me a little bit about how you work with your utility customers in helping them streamline their operations? Smart energy services today is about three things that can actually be delivered. Smart grids, distributed generation, smart meter, and then smart homes. The way we work with our utility customers is all the way from developing their business case for identifying and refining the necessary business processes down to instantiating and operating the systems necessary to support those, all the way through to optimize their business and meet the demands of a changing industry. Great. And how do you work with Cisco in delivering these solutions? Cisco and Capgemini are long-term partners. Uh, going back many years, we led the industry in the development of the Smart Energy Alliance several years ago. And today we're working very closely on a number of accounts uh, in several different ways. One is we engineer Cisco into a lot of the work we do independently. Uh, we partner with Cisco on select clients, and then we'll even use our accelerated solutions environment, bring Cisco staff, client staff, and our own staffs together in an environment where we can create, conceptualize, and test ideas before we take them out into the field. So we try to both accelerate delivery as well as de-risk the actual implementations themselves.